win or lose, will look to become a three-time world champion. And Gulo starting to not be as active and busy by a left as Benavides sticking that jab. A little bit more shy than usual because of the fact that he... By Benavides, another one. Crushing shots. Benavides gets proper leverage behind his bunches. Still all David Benavides and back we see Benavides and we're taking a look at some of the work of El Bandera Roca and followed by a right uppercut there that left uppercut caught the attention tail of the tape you see the 13 year age difference it's showtime hailing from El Bordo Colombia with 22 wins coming by way of knockout Angulo with a record of 22 wins, no losses, David Benavide. First command is right now, touch gloves. Our main event of the evening here. You don't know what the heck these judges are going to come out with. Gulo, I'll tell you, both men have high knockout percentages. Just opened up the gym, their private gym. A couple weeks as we enter into September and said he is going to shock the world in terms of using his jab. You know, David threw an uppercut, partially grazed the whiskers of Benavides. Jab by David Benavides. Benavides very steadfast crowd in Arlington, Texas in front of nearly 50,000. Final moments of the first round. A left hook by David Benavides. Right hand that missed. As round one draws to a Benavides fighting with his back off the ropes. Pedro Diaz in the corner of Ray Flores here, Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. And David Benavides, as we mentioned, will be a father. His son is doing it. There's a left hook to the body by Benavides. Back comes win or lose, will look to become a three time world champion. The opponents will have to wear and wave the red flag. But back comes Benavides. A welter, or was a welterweight contender, super light, and he hasn't even ever lost a fight. Right hand to the body by the 23-year-old. And Gulo starting to not be as active and busy. There's a jab by David Benavides. There's a big right hand by a leftist Benavides sticking that jab. Time. To the body that backed up Alexis Angulo again. The David Benavides had was when he knocked out Rogelio Porky Medina. 12, Ray Flores ringside here. Thank you all so much for joining. Like the work that Benavides did in the last round when he a little bit more shy than usual because of the fact that he... And your wrist, it still David Benavides. Back comes Angulo. Benavides, love how he's sticking and pressing that as we approach 50% of the way through. This Angulo, I feel like Benavides knows he has Angulo hurt. A vicious left hook, matter of time before he tastes the canvas officially. Nope. Troy mode. It is really starting to open up and that could be troublesome. A left hook by the 23-year-old. By Benavides, another one. Crushing shots to the body by Benavides. On Gulo getting look. Let's see. He's and we take a look at, you know, some of As Alexis Angulo is going to have to go through five middleweight champion. A steady jab by... Benavides in his favor. Alexis Angulo, the only time he fought for a world that he generates from his legs. And couple that with being heavy. Benavides gets proper leverage behind his bunches. Sticking the jab is Benavides to make this a quicker night than usual at the office. For disaster for David Benavides' opponent. There's a jab by Benavides. There's a left hook. Wins for David Benavides over Ronald. Benavides feels that he is among 
There's a left hook to the body. That got through. This one is scheduled for 12. Don't know if it'll last that long. Even though he lost the title, still quite confident. 30 seconds to go here in this fourth stanza. But Alexis Angulo is so tough and durable to no avail. That because he he's throwing that right hand, but I wonder if he hurt. Benavidez setting up his power shots with the jab. Angulo seems of age. There's a right uppercut by Benavides. Meta Mark here in much frequency as he did in the first round, largely in part to the back title. So this is a championship fight for Alexis Angulo. That old mindset, you're gonna have to deal with some pain if you want to win. That he has been getting pounded upon, Phoenix, Arizona native. And picking his shots, he's starting to really bully around. Time! Hold on. Hold on. One more. David Benavidez show here in Uncasville, Connecticut. Greatly appreciate all of you. Angulo needs to do something to try to change around the most. Max off the skull of Alexis Angulo. And he's already been a two-time world champion. At what point, if you're page point where it's like, okay, you are getting pounded. Listen, let's not forget, David Benavides is just 23 years of age. That is easier said than done, especially when you have that shake the core of your foundation. Their fighters taking too much punishment. I think we're getting to that point to the body and saw Angulo momentarily just grimace. There's a look at this combination. This is beat up on. And he's still throwing punches. It is just target practice inside. There's a right. It is just really starting to open up and connect. Time. It is all David Benavid work by David Benavid. It's almost like a video game. What's this Angulo for Angulo? You always have a puncher's chance. He fights in small spurts, does Angulo, and put himself right back in the center of the ring. The guard of Benavides and press him on, mixes in his uppercut as well. Does the look at that hand speed by David Benavides? Final moments of the seventh. The seventh. T off upon Alexis Angulo. Benavides and Alexis Angulo so far it has been in this fight just momentary spurts double jab as Alexis Angulo if Benavides starts to throw a combination, it could signal the end of the fight. The ring. <laughs> this is when Angulo's got to go to work. That drove Angulo on the ropes, and now Benavides now in the softball stance. Angulo continues to wail upon Alexis Angulo during this. Let's take a look at some of this work in every different direction. Or Alexis Angulo again. Angulo. Talk to the body by Angulo. Beat us as we have 100 seconds to go. 
There's a jab followed by the right hands of Gilberto Ramirez and David Benavides is making. There's a big right hand left to the body. There's a left downstairs. Charging, rushing. Benavides followed by a left hook to the body by Benavides. It is total domination for... Trying to do something to change the complexity of this fight. We have been surprised by the durability. A lead right hand. Connected, followed by a left. I would say you're probably wrong. The back comes Benavides. Shots are right. Uppercut, that dominance mark for Benavides. I'm not surprised by the toughness, but man, can Alexis starting to really tee off on Alexis Sangu. I mean, aesthetically, it has a Gulo, but Johnny Callis may want to get in there and possibly stop. Gulo is not, he's only throwing a few punches. Live to fight another day because a man on Gulo was getting pounded. You saw backed up on Gulo who dropped his hands. And Johnny Callis made right uppercut. Benavidez pounded away upon during that exchange. And his face is starting to swell. So the corner stopped the fight and thankful. That was a one-sided demolition. Dominant performance by David Benavidez. Take a look at. There's that becomes vacant, but remaining undefeated. This bout has been Jimmy. stopped at the end of round number ten. Still undefeated. 